Welcome to the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County in California. You're standing in one of the museum's famous diorama halls. Dioramas were an early form of virtual reality that helped transport people to habitats all around the world. Today, you get to go behind the glass and see a diorama from the inside. Feeling cold? That's because you're now standing in Alaska with these caribou, also known as reindeer. These animals form tight-knit herds and migrate great distances between winter and summer ranges to find food and keep their young, called calves, safe. Surviving in such harsh conditions and the demands of long-distance migration make the caribou an incredibly tough species but they are finding themselves under an increasing threat due to climate change. Which predator do scientists think is the fastest growing danger to caribou? Wolves or insects? While wolves do hunt caribou, a far smaller hunter is likely a faster growing threat. An insect known as the warble fly lays its eggs on caribou. Once hatched, the fly's larva burrow under the caribou's skin and feast on it from the inside, draining the caribou of energy. This little caribou calf might not survive the winter if he gets attacked. Running to colder areas in the summer is the only way caribou can escape these hungry flies. The cool snow of the tundra seems to keep them away. But climate change is rapidly warming the Arctic, increasing the number of flies, and leaving caribou with fewer places to find refuge. But why should we care about caribou that live thousands of miles away? Take a look around. The green portion of land is what's known as permafrost, frozen soil. It's another reason caribou are losing their safe haven. As climate change warms the earth, it is thawing permafrost at an alarming rate, releasing carbon previously trapped for millennia back into the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. This sets off a horrible feedback loop. Melting causes even more melting. What do you think contributes more to global warming? carbon released from melting permafrost, or all the traffic in Los Angeles. In fact, LA pollution is bad, but melting permafrost is actually worse and has the potential to emit up to 53 times more carbon than the traffic of a major city like Los Angeles, causing global warming to rapidly accelerate. This affects all of us, from the Alaskan caribou to the commuters stuck in traffic. But the permafrost hasn't totally melted yet. There's still time to act. Even little changes help if we all do them together. We can keep the Arctic permafrost frozen ensuring a safe habitat for us and the caribou. We can't give up. This baby caribou hasn't.